Here's a new M&M shifter, just came. But I just barely dropped it off. Let's see what it looks like. My trusty key knife. Got my assistant here. You helping, buddy? Good job. No. Okay. Let's package real well. So we have here. Gonna need a knife for everything. We have our CO2 bottle here. So this is extra, you don't need to buy this, but it is a CO2 shifter. I got that just because the piston and valve clearance on the car is so tight, I didn't want to miss a shift and hit the limiter. Well, careful there, big guy. <laughs> yeah, whoa. Like the regulator engages. Now for the shifter. All together with everything, it was I think a thousand fifty. Careful, big guy! Don't touch that. That's what shifting and everything. There we go. And it looks like a nice piece. Oh, wow. Yeah, that feels great. This is for a Turbo 400 with a reverse manual valve body. Not neutral safe. So try to figure out how to operate this thing. Yeah, big guy. <laughs> yeah, looks good. This is going to be a shorter shifter cable. The one I had was a re uh, front exit cable. This one's a reverse, so I'll have to change that up. I'm probably going to mount it a little sideways. But yeah, there it is. I know there's not a lot of these online as far as pictures of it. Really nice, it's light. You can see how it's all. <laughs> see how it's all cut and everything just for lightweight. This is a super nice shifter. That TCI outlaw I had was really nice. So to get rid of that to get this, I mean this has got to be something special. At least I hope so. It sure looks like it. But yeah, I, I just wanted the CO2 just so I didn't miss a shift and maybe float a valve or something. Um, not only that, but I do a lot of testing with the V-Box. I want my time to be exactly the same, or I guess consistent, you know, that way I can gauge what I'm doing a little better with, you know, the data. I'll just wire it up to a shift light and it'll, it'll shift the shifter at the exact RPM I set it for every single time. So, so there it is. Thanks for watching. All right, I threw some pictures up, and I got some audio behind it just to kind of give you guys some more details of the shifter. But, man, look at that thing. It's beautiful. I'm going to tip the shifter so you can see the bottom of it. 
you're going to see threaded holes, but uh, those are just so you can mount it to something. And I'm going to drill holes to the plate I have it sitting on and just have them going up through the shifter like that, which makes it real nice. Um, there's the bottle again. Now, I've got the shifter kind of mocked up sitting on the car right now. As you can see, it's off to the side. And i seen other cars doing this, a lot of fast cars, and I figured I'd give it a shot. It just seems more natural, and it allows me to put the shifter a little farther up, and so my arm's not cocked back as far. It just seems to work out great. But there you guys go.